guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Dummies. I got so many requests from you guys to make a recipe from the Nerdy Dummies cookbook. And I thought that is a really fun idea. I would love to share a recipe with you guys. And I was thinking, hmm, which recipe should we do? And my mom just made me this apron. It is adorable. It's got microchips, little electrical pathways. And basically it's like a little circuit board. And I thought, we gotta do a recipe from the tech and web chapter. Today, let's make a motherboard cake. Most electronics have some type of motherboard or circuit board and I just find them very fascinating. Right here on this page, I drew a simple graphic of a motherboard layout and we've got some of the basic parts. So if you've never built your own computer before, it's kind of nice to see some of the basic pieces that make a motherboard. Also, this is a perfect recipe if you have any friends or family who are techies or they just love technology like me. It's a really fun birthday idea. Oh, also shout out to my mom, Mama Mia. Not only did she make the apron that I'm wearing today, but she made this apron, my little 8-bit heart apron that I'm wearing on the cover. Mama Mia, I love you. Thanks for making my aprons. All right, enough mushy stuff, Mom. Today, we are gonna be making a motherboard cake from the Nerdy Dummies cookbook. Let's get started. Let's get started, let's get started. The things you will need will be the Nerdy Dummies cookbook. Eh, eh. I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna teach you how to do it. You don't need that. Two cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of sugar, five egg whites, three-fourths cup plus two tablespoons of milk, half a cup of salted butter, quarter cup of shortening, two teaspoons of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. Just to let you guys know, these are the ingredients to make a single layered cake. So if you just want to make a one layer cake, this is what you'll need. But today, I think I'm I'm gonna do a double layer cake like I do in the book. So you're gonna need to times the ingredients by two. The first thing that we're gonna do is in a medium bowl, whisk together our dry ingredients. Yep, flour, baking powder, and salt. Mix together until it's well combined and then I'm gonna set this off to the side. Then in a large mixing bowl, we are gonna cream together our sugar, our butter, and shortening. Using a hand mixer, we're gonna mix it up until it's light and fluffy. This should take about three to five minutes. Once our butter mixture is light and fluffy, we are gonna beat in the vanilla and almond extract. Oh yeah, that smells so good. Now we're gonna mix in our egg whites one at a time. We've got five eggs. So you're gonna add an egg, mix it up, 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 boom. Or if you've got all of your egg whites already together like I do, just eyeball it. Next we are gonna alternate adding our dry and wet ingredients to the big bowl, starting and ending with dry. So we will add half of our dry, mix it up, add our milk, Mix it up, add the second half of our dry, and then mix it up. Our batter is ready, and now we're gonna pour it into the pan. I have a nine by 13 inch pan, and I've already cut a piece of parchment paper and lined it at the bottom and greased the pan. Just gonna pour it in here. High pour, high pour. I don't think this is an official technique, but I like to do it. You pull it, you get it up high, and then you just pour it in. I like to take a spatula and just smooth it out so it bakes evenly. Now we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees and bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. Once your cakes have baked and had plenty of time to cool, now we are gonna assemble them and frost them. Over here, I have let my cakes cool and I have leveled off the top so that they were flat and I'm just gonna pick them up, transfer them here over to my cake board. Now's the time where you want to place them onto your final serving plate. Plate. If that is a big plate or a cake stand or a cake board like I've got right here, just transfer it onto its final destination place right now. On top of our first layer of cake, we're gonna add a little bit of buttercream. I just put it into a plastic baggie and just cut the end. I don't need a lot of control here. I'm using an offset spatula to just smooth it out. Then we're gonna pick up the second cake and place it right on top. This looks like a cake sandwich, look at that. Now we're gonna frost the entire cake, the top and the sides with a thin layer called the crumb coat. Crumb coat is all finished, now I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for about 30 minutes to chill. Our cake has chilled and now we're gonna ice on our final 
layer of frosting. You just wanna use enough to cover up the cake. What I really like about this cake is it's so customizable. I'm doing just a white cake with green frosting, but you can make it any kind of cake that you'd like. All right, our cake is all frosted. I smoothed everything out, and now it is time for my favorite part. It is time to decorate. Here are all the candies that I'm gonna be using to decorate. We've got Hershey's candy, some Kit Kats, Twix, a couple Reese's chocolate peanut butter bars, a mini chocolate peppermint patty, a Ghirardelli chocolate, and some Kit Kat minis. That covers it for the chocolate. Then let's move over to the Fruity Chews. A bunch of Jujubes. I'm using all of the green ones. Then I've got square shaped Starburst minis in yellow and pink. Some rectangular Jolly Rancher Chews. We've got red, blue, and green. And last but not least, we've got a little bit of rainbow sour rope. You can use whatever candies you'd like. These are just the ones that I picked out to represent the different basic components of a motherboard. I'm gonna be starting with the Twix. These are gonna be representing the graphic card slots. My motherboard is fancy, so I'm gonna have three graphic card slots. You know, if you play a lot of video games, you like to have a lot of graphics cards. I left a little space here because I wanted to put my battery there, so I'm using the little mini York peppermint patty. Then I'm gonna be adding these mini Kit Kats to be little plugs all over the motherboard. Take our Hershey's. This is gonna be our processor mount. I'm gonna flip it upside down so it's nice and smooth. I'm gonna place it right out here. Our Ghirardelli square is our actual processor, so it goes on top. Boom! For our RAM slots, Kit Kats work perfectly. I'm gonna put four of them in. This sour rainbow candy is gonna be the ribbon connector between our north and south bridge. So I'm just folding it over like this and then just gently putting it down. Our Reese's are the right shape and size for our north and south bridge. Our pink and yellow Starburst minis and our green fruit chews are gonna be microchips, so I'm gonna place those all over here. The last green chew, I'm gonna cut it in half to represent two USB plugs. The red chew is another microchip. Our last fruit chews are blue and they will make great SATA plugs. I'm gonna use this little tool. I'm gonna make a couple little grooves by pressing down gently. The last candy that we're gonna be adding are these little green jujubes. These are gonna be the computer's capacitors. Computers have a lot of these, so I'm just gonna put them everywhere. I'm gonna get a little crazy with it, but structured crazy. I'm, I'm one of those people that like a pretty looking motherboard. I would love that job to design motherboards, make them look pretty. I would do that. One more jujube! Got all of our candy components placed. Now I'm gonna take a little bag of buttercream frosting with a number two tip at the end, and I'm just gonna pipe some details all over. These are gonna be the electrical pathways, just making it look more like a motherboard and connecting all of our parts. This is looking so cool. We are ready for our final decorating step. I've got some green buttercream frosting with a number four B tip at the end. I'm gonna use this to pipe a border all the way around the bottom of the cake. This is totally optional. I just like to do it because it really makes it look like a traditional cake. It gives it a good looking finish. Ta-da! Here is the motherboard cake that we made today. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting something from the Nerdy Nummies cookbook. This was really fun. I love this cake for so many reasons. One, super customizable. You can use any candies you'd like. You can make any kind of cake you'd like. And it's super easy. There's not a lot of decorating involved. It's just positioning candies and we're not using any fondant. It's just buttercream frosting. I'll be posting the recipe and lots of pictures on Rosa Paintsino.com, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you guys make this cake, please take a photo and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. And if you guys have any other ideas for any other nerdy dummies, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.